everybody. How's everybody doing today? If you are doing good today, then that is it's great to hear. So what I'm going to be explaining about is some uh, haunted places in the state of Wisconsin. Now I'm only going to go over a few of them. There are only 12 places in Wisconsin. Well, I'm going to go over just a couple of them and then I'll do the others later on. So, um, well, let's get to them. Number one, Boy Scout Lane, Stevens Point. Don't let the name fool you. Boy Scout Lane sounds pleasant enough, but is one of the most haunted places in Wisconsin. The Dead End Road was named in, the, in honor of some Boy Scouts who died during a camping trip many years ago, but records are, are sketchy about how they died. As you might imagine, that means that there are, there are many versions of the tale floating around. Some say that the boys were murdered by their bus driver, while others believe that they went missing in the woods and were never found. Yet more stories suggest that one scout dropped a kerosene lantern accidentally and started a fire and killed the rest of his troop. Whatever the true story is, visitors agree that if you visit Boy Scout Lane at night, you will likely see the light of the solitary lantern booming through the trees. Chances are. There are legends about it. Number two, Dartford Cemetery in Green Lake. Dartford Cemetery looks like a, a garden, but, appear, but appearances can be deceiving. This is one of the most haunted cemeteries in the state of Wisconsin. Perhaps the well-known ghost that hangs out here is Chief Heinocker, who apparently drowned in 1911 when he was attempted to swim across the river while making his way to Green Lake, which was considered to be a scarred location by the Americans. Another common sighting is soldiers from the Civil War era marching through the cemetery. There are have also been reports of very variety of, of other paranormal activity, including shadowy figures and unexplained noises, orbs of light, and one pe particular phenomenon which occurs when visitors sit on top of a mausoleum on the south side of the cemetery. Anyone who sits on top of this particularly a mausoleum is said to be pushed off it by the ghost of a child who's buried there. That is creepy. But there's still, like I said, there's still legends, so I can't really explain. But people have different legends of, of what their stories are. All right. The third last one. Number three, the Grand Opera House. It is said that the Grand Opera House was built in 1883. It is haunted by Percy King, who was the stage manager there for several decades. The paranormal activity seems to be focused on the balcony, which is where Percy is most often spotted. There are also reports of a phantom dog, ex unexplainable footsteps, and strange orange-tinted mist that hovers on the stage. So uh, that's going to close off from the most haunted places in Wisconsin. I don't want to get through all of them because... 12 seems like a lot. And um, so, yeah. All right. 
that is all I got on the show for now. I'm going to have to get going, and um, but I'll write some more, more of those haunted places, and then I'll talk about them in the next video. Or when the next time I'm, or the next time I'm on here again. All right, that is all for now. I'm going to have to get going, so have a great day and take care of yourselves. Bye.